Welcome English Home Language, Grade 8. The poem that we are going to discuss today is Sisters by Lucille Clifton. Sisters, Lucille Clifton, for Elaine Phillip on her birthday. Me and you be sisters, we be the same. Me and you be coming from the same place. Me and you be greasing our legs, touching up our edges. Me and you be scared of rats, be stepping on roaches. Me and you come running high down Purdy Street one time, and Mama laugh and shake her head at me and you. Me and you got babies, got 35, got black. Let our hair go back, be loving ourselves, be loving ourselves, be sisters. Only where you sing, I poet. We are going to discuss the poem, short summary of the poem. The poem celebrates two very close sisters who grew up together and remain inseparate as they got older. They share fears like rats and cockroaches and their bond is admired by the speaker's mother. Their children together reach 35 together, style their hair the same and value self-love. The only difference is that the speaker's sister sings while the speaker is a poet. Discuss the structure of the poem. In the pink block you will see the poem has seven stanzas in variant length. The rhythm comes from the repetition of the words. Each stanza, except the laws, begin with the repetition of me and you. Stanza 1 opens to describe that the two girls are sisters and the same. They come from the same family and they are the same in almost every way. This shows how close they are. Stanza 2 is a virtual repetition of stanza 1. We are sisters and we come from the same place. We have the same mother, we share the same life. This again emphasizes their bond. Stanza 3 open with me and you and refer to them doing girl things together like putting cream on their legs or applying makeup, doing their hair, touching up their edges. Stanza 4 has the same opening line and describes how they fear the same things like rats and cockroaches. This could also be social comment about the area where they live. It may well have been poor. Stanza 5. The poem recalls a day when the two sisters ran down Purdy Street in Brooklyn where the poet grew up. The mom laughed and shook her head in the delight and approval at the sisters' closeness and their striking similarity. Stanza 6. The poem mentioned the sisters both having babies and turning 35, possibly twins, who are both black and style their hair identical. The stanza emphasised the recurring theme of self-love. And the last stanza, 7, has two lines which talk about the only difference between the two girls. One is a singer, while the other is a poet. The mood of the poem. The mood is happy and light. What is the message of the poem? Well, the poem emphasizes the deep love between sisters and the significance of their relationship. It also discusses self-love, recognizing our own worth and being proud and happy with who we are as people. The theme of the poem is about two girls who are so close, they are similar in almost every way and do everything together. It is about the importance of this close relationship. Why not use any capital letters or any punctuation? Well, the lack of capital letters and punctuation illustrate a sense of freedom, the feeling of equality and the easy familiarity between sisters. Thank you for following this video.